Good morning, Misfits. It is day three of competition here at Wadapalooza. Uh, we have a bit of a slow morning uh, in terms of the elite athletes, which is kind of nice. Allows us to circulate and watch everybody else. Just watched young, young Brady Fluitt get his first event win, which was really exciting to watch. He, uh, he has uh, a pretty damn impressive aerobic base, but he's also a very good swimmer. Um, that was his main sport, so um, he went into the water after the row, maybe fifth or sixth, something like that, flew past everybody in the water, and then was running for a while in the treadmill by himself. And in his, oh my goodness, he was on the, he was on the runner, and when the hand went up, because he was the only one, he started pumping the crowd, throwing his hands up, fist pumps, and all that good stuff. So it was just really fun to watch. A lot of times athletes have a wheelhouse workout and overthink it or blow themselves out or think that they're so good at it they don't have to try very hard. So for him to go out and execute exactly how he wanted to, I think it's going to give him a lot of confidence for the rest of the weekend. Got my pacers today. We're going to represent my little swim nuggets. I'm nervous just because it's just like, you know, the assault rower is different. We're all going at the same time, and I'm sure most of us will get off the rowers right around the same time. So it'll be a little bit of a cluster, but the, the swim should separate it a little bit. And I know I can at least push my pace a little bit on the swim. I'm a lot more confident. So we'll see. You're, whenever you're off the rower, like she made up a bunch of ground just by transitioning from the row to the swim. So if you run hard, you can make up a good amount of time. People just fuck around with shoes and swim caps and goggles, and she didn't. So she fucking wear your swim cap and goggles on the rope. They did. She was just saying like she saw people just like they're just going slow. So just transition fast, get in the water fast, and you make up a lot of time from. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Not doing as like as well as we thought, but it's it's fun. This is fun. Like all these people, like it's crazy. I mean, I now know what I need to go work on for the open, which is you know what matters. Finally time to get into warm up for the row swim run event. We're gonna head back and she's gonna start doing some body work. And then for a, for a workout like this, we're looking for a very long, very slow warm up. So really letting the body know what's going on, get nice and sweaty, run, bike, run, bike, run, bike, kind of back and forth. So go back there, get into that, and it's time to party. Something that I'm like great at, so I'm 
happy with how the row went and I definitely made up ground on the run, which was nice. So much more comfortable. Like just like hearing other people talk about their paces and stuff and like the run was not really a factor for me at the end, which was cool. I mean it, it was hard. Um, like as you get going to like the last six fifteen hundred meters or so. And it's like okay, when do I make the decision to pick it up so that it gets harder and I might have been able to start a little bit earlier than I did, but I don't know. Nothing like a lukewarm protein shake. Uh, really fun afternoon. Got to watch Caroline and Paige go on the screen while watching all of the teen athletes do the uh, gymnastics overhead squat couplet and then was actually able to line up right behind Brady while he was going and assist him through remembering he was allowed to clean and jerk and then overhead squat as opposed to trying to squat snatch a pretty heavy barbell especially when it's on the short bar so really fun to be able to actually watch their heats in person a lot of times you're just either staring at your phone or rechecking the leaderboard and everything so good afternoon yeah I had been practicing the swimming so it was fun to see it pay off I felt comfortable yeah I took in it got I mean there's like random super choppiness like it was choppy but you get like some that really hit so I took in some early on and I just felt my right side start to cramp up and I was like, well, it is what it is, just keep going. I know there were the three girls right to my left past me, so I should have pushed the runner a little bit more. Cause like I did the last 400 meters at like over a thousand watts and I felt like I could have done that for longer, you know? So maybe if I did it for 800 meters or so, I would have had a better push at the end. up and muscle up work that we've been putting in paying off she doesn't know it but we talked before she was like because we kind of retooling her handstand push-up for the handstand push-ups she was not super confident with the way that I'm having her like with her current like point in our progression of where we're at um, so she was like at what point do I go back to my version versus what you're asking me to do and I'm like we're in competition the goal is to win so it's do what what feels the most comfortable for you and I was fully prepared to watch her do like some what we would say is not great handstand push-ups but she doesn't know it but they look pretty good uh, there's still room a little bit of room to improve but they're significantly better than when we originally started working together so she might have thought she was doing her old way but or she's probably doing like a hybrid which is good because that means come quarterfinal, semi-final, she'll be ready to roll. Did you, find, you find all those? You're going to bring them to the STA and take your, uh, your activities? So I'm going to have people come find me. They have to give me their code word. I'm going to give out a code word, and then I'll give them a chance. Did you guys know that Paige was a blackjack dealer? Were you really? I was, yeah. Uh, Maybe when I'm not tired. <laughs> so we had to be able to take out a stack of 20 in our palm and know it was a stack of 20 and then you had to chip away in like five so you show 20 chips in a set of five. I, I 
loved it because my personality is like, I love everything to be organized as Ben. Like I organize everything at home and you had to have a perfectly organized table. So I loved it. I loved it. Table stands are like this. <laughs> I was. Not a, not a heavy gambler, but I like playing. I like playing cards. I, like I had. <laughs> I love me some blackjack. Great. Oh my good sir. This is true. I know you like that one. That one's great. Um. Where, if I was going to purchase this, where could I buy it? Trafficcoffee.com. Right here. This is the real shit. This is the good stuff. The office coffee at Misfit Athletics. We're drinking K cups. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Costa Rican, Kenyan, very special Costa Rican. That's a natural. Bro. took a heat win only a woman to finish in her in her heat and then we watched we just saw heat two uh, looked like two or three women finished ahead of her so so she's probably in fourth or fifth overall but still one more heat to go but either way that's got to be a really big confidence boost from a leaderboard perspective or like an event a heat win perspective and probably some like a muscle up confidence boost too because that's a movement she's been working been working a lot to improve on so she's got to be happy with how those how those went because they look they look solid even though she had to grind for one or two at the end that's got to be a good confidence boost going into uh going into effort day i am a little tired okay we'll have a nap zen fuzzy missiles i said uh, i need q-tips and kiro is oh very God, insistent Hunter. Need Q-tips? I want to get in there so bad. Don't you fucking weirdo! Get Please, out of here! I want to. Oh my god! Me. Do it. It's delicious. Can we do it tonight? <laughs> I need Q-tips. No. Will a tongue no. work? Oh, god, my tongue's no. too fat on the end. <laughs> god damn it! Yeah. Yeah. I'm so tired though. My back is killing me. Smile a little. He <laughs> win. Okay. It's a beautiful smile. Probably don't smile. Don't smile. <laughs> they announced she was 47. And yeah, they did. Ariel hit 40, I hit my buzzer but. like five times. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you got to cut out me saying there's one more heat, but still one more heat to go because there's no more heats. Oh, so. I was aware that there was no more heat. Oh, okay, yeah. thanks. <laughs> so leave, leave that in there yeah. so I look like an idiot. <laughs> That's what I try to do. I know. <laughs> Take off. I'm relieved that my shoulder and elbow are still intact. <laughs> did you see that? I did. I did. Hey, great job. Thank you. That was rough. Yeah? 
I just like you, you get good, yeah I got caught I got caught in the hype of everybody yeah. like everyone going on broken everyone That'd doing that yeah. and then I almost What's killed good? my judge so I felt so I bad I was like that. I am so sorry she's like it's okay and I'm like no I'm so sorry the barbell or yeah the I oh, caught yeah. and then I was carrying forward and she just like stayed and then she started moving and I'm like, like I am wow. so sorry nice the ring muscle felt good but my grip blew up too I knew I knew Again, that test piece that I was talking about. That remember that one? This is a few cycles ago. It was like an ascending ladder of overhead squats and yes. ring muscle ups. I love that one, yeah. and I had a great like test retest. So I knew the feeling going into this was going to be very similar on the grip. But I just my grip is still kind of a weakness. So I felt good though. My life. Did awesome. Good way to end the day, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm like, I need to get food to go. What's for dinner tonight? Yeah. Fucking, what is it? <laughs> Kaha, ka no, they you fucked up my burger last like night. Girl. I had to take everything off of it, so I ate two orders you of fries, some like chocolate, huh? probably at least 10 packets of ketchup. Yeah. We got him. Caja Caliente. Going digging for gold tonight. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a real 10 out of 10 experience. We sold. People came in. They felt. They saw. They purchased. That's really what mattered at the end of the day. A lot of shirts. A lot of socks. A lot of suffer. But yeah, it was a great day all around. Meeting new misfits. Helping people strategize like the long like monostructural workouts, especially with that big swim in the middle that people were a little more worried about just because open water is a little bit different. So it was fun to just meet everybody and excited to see who shows up on day pop four. But at the end of the day, pretty much all of our athletes are here. Again, not a, when you say tune up, it makes it sound like it's like a preseason sort of game, like doesn't matter. Because it does matter. You want to put your best foot forward for where you're at currently. You don't want to go in and try to compete at 85% because you're going to get run over. As coaches, like we're making notes. Like for me, first time working with Kelly in person. We've been working a lot together and plenty of like videos and stuff like that. Uh, but that doesn't that doesn't match the in person like things that you can learn about an athlete as a uh, as like as a person how they how they how they like prepare physically like warming up and stuff like that and then also how they uh, how they perform under pressure and and kind of what their mindset is like Kelly's got like a very uh, Terminator-esque kind of like the lasers go going out of her eyes like you walk in front of those you're gonna get chopped off at the legs and Brady is he's developing his competition persona right now you're an 18 year old man you get to make who you are moving forward in the sport that's kind of where we're approaching it from and obviously like getting the competition the physical competition experience under under our belts is super important but those are just my athletes caroline's like caroline's learning stuff Paige is learning stuff about what they need to do to be best prepared for quarterfinals semifinals in the games so yeah i'd say i'd say te teachable one more day effort day that's it Yes. Yes, I got a burrito. Well, what would you get? A burrito. What kind? Uh, carne asada, I think. With okay. It's the first burrito on the list. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then we both. I also got a burrito, <laughs> and I'm very hungry. And you're not eating mine. No, they're the same one, so we're good. Okay. Here's your burrito. This is my burrito.